What is going on you guys? It is your boy OMC here. Guys, how do I even start this? From what the hell happened last week? Easily a top five episode. Like easily top five. And it was definitely top five in terms of fights. Would I really even call it a fight? Kind of not really much of a back and forth. But god damn that episode. That episode had everything. A classic and pure My Hero episode to the fullest. With the animation, the music, you say run in there. It was perfect. It was an absolute perfect episode. Easily the best. It's probably going to be the best episode in this whole season, depending on whatever the hell else happens. Now, still, we're going into here knowing we're probably going to get more with Shoji's backstory. And, of course, with Spinner looking like a damn Ninja Turtle right now. So, we're going to see what else is going to happen with that. I do remember that All for One did give him at least some sort of quirk. And still, even two, there's going to be a lot that they're probably going to be touching on with Spinner. And maybe even the kind of hole between him and Shigaraki. They've, they've been like this ever since probably season three. So I really want to know if that is going to factor into how he's feeling, especially if All for One's maybe going to do anything. Like there's just a lot to even dissect going into this episode. But the main thing, Shoji. Now, as much as probably you guys have maybe been spoiled because I am one of the ones that has because my hero just can't help showing certain stuff in the previews, but I have seen Shoji's face. Yeah. What else is new? So I'm going into this episode really, really anticipated. I obviously think we're going to have like a little bit of a calming type of episode. That's just my prediction. A calming type episode from how the past ones have been. And then I wonder when we are going to get back to the coffin in the sky. I really, really wonder. But that's no time at least for that. We are here in this episode right now. One of the best episodes of My Hero ever last week that happened. Once again, thank you guys for everybody that subscribed to the episode last week and is now new on this channel and along with me for this ride and any other ride on this channel thank you all very very much it means the world to me and i just love that everybody else can really feel the energy and the emotion that i am portraying and how you guys are also feeling as well that is really kind of my goal and it's really really glad to see because i i'm not making this shit up or i'm not quote unquote acting this is like my actual emotions and expressions on how i feel when i'm looking at this i really really enjoy the hell out of everything that I see and I just want to show that to the best of my ability for you guys I absolutely love doing it but guys my hero academia once again back with another episode let's get straight the hell into it if you guys are new to the channel you guys like my reaction like subscribe comment down below and if you guys want to be notified and release those videos make sure to smash that notification bell but without further ado let's get right into the episode rain in the very first part of the episode oh wow Nicely hand drawn. Oh. This, this more. This doesn't look like spinner. Whoa. Okay, so is this spinner? Hmm. Or is this Shoji? Alright, I guess they gave us a little bit of that scene. We're back here. God, throwing Molotovs and shit? Oh my god. This is bad. Oh, I forgot. Mike and them are there too. Rock Lock. What other quirks do they even have? Oh! Literally absorb that. Uh, hello? Oh my god, who is that? Oh wow, thanks for the help of Koda. Jeez. This is chaos. Taser shields? That's all I can do is just hold the line. But goddamn, there's so many. Even if some of the heroes are getting surrounded. Damn! Oh, 
えそんなことやめましょうとかいそうつかうん裏切り者かおわお And are in the first couple, there's a lot going on. That dude, too. Wow. They creep me out. So, Steam. Pretending to be remorseful. You're gonna take his mask off? Whoa. Spinner is our spokesperson. My god, he is huge. I wonder if he's gonna even probably evolve more. I don't even know. Look at him. Honestly, not looking at him, he looks like Killer Croc. That's what I'm at least saying. Jesus. Probably maybe that quirk that he gave to him is really making him lose his mind too. Kill, liberate, all of that, or even get Kirigiri back. Oh, Shoji coming in out of nowhere. Oh, man. That was Shoji's backstory, wasn't it? That was his house. Get everybody out. Yeah, everybody the hell out of there. Sugar Rocky was gonna level that shit. They didn't know that. What are you gonna do when you go in there? Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Once again, after seven seasons, finally being able to see what he looks like. Wow. I would have never thought. I thought it probably would have been an accident or something like that happened to him, but no, that's actually how he was born. I kind of like this look rather than with the mask. I'm not going to lie. Is Spinner kind of backing up a little bit? Spinner is lost. Spinner is lost, even maybe with the quirk being a big factor. Who cares? What? And then this dude is being the, the second one to tell, like, kind of get everybody on, back on track. <laughs> He's trying to keep everybody forward, trying to keep going all the way forward. Spinner, though, there's a lot of development happening with that. Spinner. 30 years. Oh, yeah, he's evolving. Oh, he's evolving. Whoa, wait a minute. 
I had a feeling this shit was gonna happen. Oh my god. Then he used this. Scale. The scale upgrade? What the f <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. This dude looks like Venom. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Damn. Mm. Wow. He re First ever time he revealed that? They'll gather for the... Mm. Mm hmm. こんな傷を負わせる地域がまだ残ってる。Yeah。だからマスクをしてる。Yeah。They Saved a kid? So we're tallying up the bad memories. This is very nice hand drawing. I love this. Nice. The tone is the tone and the color palette is beautiful. Mm. Don't say there's only one. Aw, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Damn, this kind of really makes me respect his character more and kind of like his character more. They got to probably all of the students. I mean, you could say Oyama, but that's different. This is the one dude that's actually went through some past shit, other than Todoroki, too. Mmm. Oh my god. Damn. This isn't the way to do it. Exactly. Even from her back last season. Perfect example. Well, obviously, Spinner, in his mindset, in his state, doesn't give a damn. He's not even able to freaking think at all. Oh. oh, they're still thinking. But this dude's still trying to keep them on track, still trying to get them to do what they maybe need to do. Oh, Koda has other ideas. <laughs> uh oh. Wow, everybody's getting an upgrade. Wow. Loading up. This is who I am. Big moment. So he did talk to them. Hmm. We didn't tell you anything yet. Oh, she gave him intel. Okay. Oh. It's almost the. That's a cool ass shot. For Koda, what? <laughs> wow. You can only give so many characters, especially in Class 1A, a freaking shining moment. What an arc to do it than this. Huh. Oh, 
Nice. Make sure you get mad. Yeah, I would have never thought of this. Wow. Knocking him off his perch. Nice. This still going on. A little bit of help from Mike. Breaking all of the swords. Damn. Oh, they didn't have to do that. They did not have to do that. Oh, wow. Is he out? What do you want to protect? Still going back to Oyama? Damn, they are hitting with this episode, man. For real. Oh, this is... This is great. <laughs> Spinner's not done. <laughs> and nothing will change. <laughs> Look at him. You can get them back. Because no matter what, just spreading that hatred, spreading that revenge on all of them. That's not going to change. And now he is making a beeline for the hospital. Honestly, that should have probably have, had him out. And now that lit a fire into everybody else. Now everybody's on one page. I don't know how they're gonna kind of change the tides now. Oh my God, what a shot. Let me say this, I love his look, and I also love this episode for numerous reasons. Let me get right into it. Next episode is going to get very, very intense because now he is inside of the hospital and he's going straight for Kirigiri. And who is probably maybe going to stop him? Either Shoji or more than likely President Mike. Because I think President Mike, because I haven't seen the preview yet on what it probably might entail, but President Mike probably makes maybe the most sense because after all, it is really Shirakumo. And still with Mike going into there, knowing that he's going to try to escape with Kirigiri, he can't let that happen. And just really fighting for Shirakumo in that kind of light, it kind of makes sense for him to go after him. So I cannot wait for next week's episode. Honestly, they really killed it in this episode just for the story and animation aspect. Once again, they didn't even have to go hard on that one shot with Choji, man. Freaking that shot was beautiful. Very, very good animation for that. But the whole story for this, you can't help but feel for Shoji. Like we've always known with this character, even with me, not even really kind of seeing what he was really capable of and just the full capability of this character. We always just seen, oh, he looks kind of visually cool. He has a lot of really good elements with multiple arms. He can like transform his body into literally any, he could do eight ears if he even wanted to, just anything. He can hear maybe when a villain's nearby. There was a lot that this character was capable of, but we never found out the history and the backstory on what actually happened to him and why he does wear the mask. I really wonder if Horikoshi, even planning all the way back and has originally had that for that character on how he was looking, I wonder if right now to where we got, like let's say right now, if that was always the plan and for him and Spinner to maybe have kind of a crossing between each other and to have that very, very good dialogue back and forth on really Shoji relating to Spinner and is exactly like Spinner and feels somewhat of what Spinner is doing, but obviously it is not right. I think this episode did a very, very good job telling that the animation was beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of this episode. And quite honestly, 
I cannot wait to see what the hell is going to happen next week. The look of Spinner now, as I said in this episode, he looks a lot like Venom for the fact that of the teeth and the freaking tongue. And I think it was a very, very cool way on how they did that. And I don't know if he's going to have any other evolving like power or if anything else that all for one gave him. Because right now he's already losing his mind. He was already losing his mind from the very first quirk that he gave Spinner. But now that he took this other quirk that just amplifies him more, and especially with him just going straight through the hospital, just going through all the walls in order to get Kirigiri. I don't think anything else is going to try to stop him other than Mike. So we're going to see what the hell is going to happen next week. Thank God for no breaks because that was just one, one tough couple weeks, man. I It was so tough to just try to wait for a new My Hero episode, especially the episodes that were going on with the Bakugo stuff and then Deku and Shigaraki. It was just so tough to be waiting and everything. But now we are back consecutive weeks for the last, what, six weeks left. We only have six weeks left until the beginning of October, and I will eventually release some news in the next couple days or even next week on the possible plans for the fall. So I'm gonna explain all that when it comes out on the community post. But guys, thank you for watching my video. If you guys are excited for the rest of My Hero Academia and you guys like the channel, like, subscribe, comment down below. And as always, my name is Omzi and I am out.